I've already had my shower for the day and now it's time to eat breakfast, get the car cleaned up a little bit, it's looking like a mess, and then I can head out. Alright, so it's finally my day off, and I have an actual weekend, three-day weekend like I normally do. So I'm going to go down today and pick up the bus and hopefully not move out of it, because I put in tons of overtime and I should be getting paid for that tomorrow. So I should be in a much nicer vehicle fairly soon. Well, I emptied out my car and made a giant mess in the bus. I'll probably just secure things and make sure they don't move around too much, but I need to head to the campsite, so <laughs> I'll do all the organizing there. And now we get to see if the bus starts. New batteries, so it should start just fine. Okay, so I may not have been paying enough attention on that one, I didn't let it, the gold plugs run long enough, and it took a little longer to start than usual, but it's been sitting for a couple months, so no big deal. But it runs great, sounds good. Well, I made it to Kanaskit Palmer State Park, and I've run into a little bit of a problem. So. I usually choose state parks that are closer to populated areas, um, just for right now because I have to be online periodically, actually quite often, and uh, apparently this area doesn't have any cell phone coverage, or it's pretty minimal. It's one of these times where I wish I had one of those uh, cell phone range extender antenna things. I'm here at the park and I'm going to go wandering around seeing if I can find a decent signal. There seems to be a little bit kind of off and on, so I suspect somewhere in the park has a good signal. And once I find that place, then I can do my work. But we'll see, it's already starting to get late, it's already just after four, and the sun's going down really early. It's getting close to the solstice. I'll walk around the park a little bit more, see if I can find a cell phone signal, and then if I can't, I'll just come back and organize the bus. That's really all I can do. That bus really needs organizing, especially after the drive. It's, it's chaos back there. I took off down the trail and decided to see if I could find any signal anywhere, but instead I found these nice yurts. Apparently there's some yurts and in another part of the campground. There are also some small little shelters. The yurts are pretty cool. I've never actually seen inside one of them. enough signal to send a couple messages but that's really about it. It was down at this far end of the park uh, and I took this trail down to the river and to see if the signal was any better there and it actually was uh, but all I got really was kind of an intermittent signal and this really nice view of the Green River. Having tools makes it much easier to actually cook meals, and I definitely missed that when I was in my car. This is kind of a weird meal of mashed potatoes and scrambled eggs with vegetables, but it works. The next morning, I went out for a walk around the entire park. There's a nice loop trail that goes around the perimeter of the park and it was a lovely walk out there beautiful fall season like usual 
Apparently this area is used a lot for whitewater rafting. So there's a dam just upstream of here and people will take their canoes, kayaks, rafts, whatever, down until this area um, where the river becomes class four and then only the pros go through that. Uh, but then after that it's class three or two and things calm down a little bit. But it makes for some really fun views of the river for just walking past. So I've mostly organized the bus now. It's looking a lot better back there, as you can probably see. I can walk down the length of the bus now without having any issues. As you can see, it's quite dark in here. Even if I turn on my two lanterns, that's uh, all I really have for light, I, it's still fairly dark in here. If I open a door, like this door, you can see the lighting really improves up quite a bit. So what I'm probably going to do is replace those lights on the ceiling with LEDs. They're just old incandescent lights right now. They draw a huge amount of power. And so replace those. I know of some really good LED lights that would look really good in here and would be way brighter. And so that'll fix, kind of fix that problem. The problem is uh, there's no way to turn on those lights without opening a door. And so that's kind of an issue, of course, because I I don't want to leave my door open at night or really just most of the time. Another issue is they draw a lot of power so if I open something like this bus door uh, right there, which is the easiest door to get in and out of, then the lights come on and it just drains my batteries. So that's not really ideal either. So eventually I'm going to have to take those lights and the door off of the circuit that they're on now and transfer them to a house circuit. But I don't have any house batteries at the moment, so... Oh well. So, uh, anyways, things are starting to look better. I'm gonna see if I can deal with the trailer hitch receiver, see if I can install that maybe, but... Um, otherwise, I'm probably gonna head out to Maple Valley soon. So I just made it into town here and the internet seems to be working just fine and I've been getting a lot of work done. Uh, one of the things I needed to do was I was getting paid today and so I had to pay a bunch of bills and stuff like that, nothing unusual. Uh, I've been putting in huge amounts of overtime the last couple of weeks so I was expecting a lot of money to come in and it just didn't really. Uh, <laughs> my paycheck just wasn't very good. Um, it it's correct, sort of, uh, but they offer incentives at the place I work, basically, if you meet certain goals, which I almost always meet. And uh, this time, they decided to turn it into some sort of lottery, and naturally I lost. <laughs> um, even though I probably had one of the highest chances of winning, I lost. And that's just the way things go for me. Um, if there's a chance that I'm going to lose, I'm going to lose. So, unfortunately that means I'm not going to be able to stay in the bus after this weekend and I'll be back in the car again. And that's going to be true for another at least two weeks, probably longer. Um, so, we'll see. Hopefully one of these other sources of income starts working out. Uh, the leads that they, I've been getting at these solar energy sales jobs have been absolutely atrocious. I haven't had any luck with them at all. Um, just a few angry people and other than that it's just like nothing. Uh, so I don't know where they're getting these leads from but it's just hardly worth doing. Um, and it's not like the pays enough per lead that I'm actually going to start making real money doing this. Uh, it's just going to be a grind until eventually I stumble across someone who actually wants solar. Um, so, I don't know if this is going to work out or not. I'll keep going for now. For some reason, I'm not sending out leads this week again, so... Again, I don't know. 
<laughs> what can I do, really? Um, just keep working on other things like this YouTube channel, and um, I have some boat design stuff that I'm working on, which hopefully that'll work out. But, uh, and anyway, so I'll be leaving Yumclaw here, head back up to the camp shortly, and then I'll be up there until tomorrow morning, midday, something like that. Then I'll head back, park the bus again, and take my car back up north. Uh, so, excitement. While I was cleaning, I discovered that I had an inverter, and I hadn't really thought about it too much. Um, my focus has been elsewhere, but I already have an inverter. All I need is really a battery to get this thing running. Uh, <laughs> at least the, all the interior electrical system, because the interior electrical system is mostly 120 volts, except for the lights. Well, I could put 120 volt lights in too, but I have tons of outlets and stuff. But the cool thing is, uh, the inverter works. I hooked it up to a small battery that I had laying around, and I plugged in my piano, and it works. So, there's still plenty of work to be done. I made another mess by disconnecting it from the underside of this random piece of wood that was in the front of the bus. I don't know why it was there, but um, I took it off of there, plugged in the piano, and hooked it all up, and it, it works great. Well, it's the end of the day today, and now that I know I have a working inverter and I actually got to play piano for the first time in like six months, um, I'm pretty happy, and the day ended well, even if some of those things didn't work out. It's all right. Um, I'm hoping I can come down here on the weekends and take the bus out instead of driving my car the entire time. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that though, um, just because of the amount of fuel it takes. When I'm working, I'm staying about two hours away from where I work, and so I, it's, it's a long drive and it uses a lot of fuel and puts a lot of wear in my car just getting it to the bus. So just something I need to uh, really think about. But the bus is working great and I really look forward to taking it out on longer adventures. Uh, it still needs a little bit of work here and there and it's still more organizing. It's a lot better than it was, although you might not know it just by looking at it. It still looks like a mess, but I'm pretty happy with the outcome. After that stormy night, I think I'm finally ready to go. I discovered I do have a small leak up on the emergency exit um, on the roof. I know a lot of people replace that with vent fans. I don't think it's really necessary in something with this many windows. Um, so I'll probably just reseal it and it's not gonna be that big of a deal. But let's see how long it takes for the engine to start today. It's a little bit chilly out and it's <laughs> these old diesels take a while to warm up. Well, after two attempts, um, no go on the diesel starting right now. Um, the battery sound great, it's turning over really well, it's just not starting for some reason. See a little bit of white smoke coming out, so it's firing, uh, it's just too cold. I'll try it one more time here, see if we can get it to start up. So as you can hear, I finally got the engine running. Um, I unfortunately resorted to using just a small shot of ether. <laughs> um, it works, <laughs> not great for the engine, I know, but um, I kind of wonder if the glow plugs aren't really doing their job. Uh, when it's really cold like this, it really has trouble starting, and it's not the batteries anymore. It was turning over just fine. Um, I don't think it's missing any compression or anything like that. I think it's just the glow plugs are um, not doing their job properly for whatever reason. I don't know if it's a relay or the glow plugs themselves, but um, something to fix in the future so I don't have to rely on ether to start on cold days like this. Well, the good news is, even though I'm back in my car, I know where everything is that I need. Um, I've repacked the car so it's a lot more efficient. It's not just taking up huge amounts of space everywhere. 
and um, I'm pretty much ready to go for another couple of weeks. Uh, we'll see where I am next weekend. I'll probably end up um, staying up north somewhere. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I'll definitely post a video about whatever I do next weekend uh, because I, I don't think I'm going to take the bus out next weekend just because of the amount of money it's going to cost to get down here and all that. So with that said, it's time to head back up north and uh, the campgrounds are in their winter season now so a lot of the sites are closed but there's still plenty of available sites and a lot of them are still open so it's not a big deal. Um, the good thing about the car too is that without a heater uh, at night, the car is actually a lot warmer than the buses. Um, my body heat is enough to warm up the space and it's not <laughs> enough to do anything in the bus. So it's not the end of the world uh, staying in the car for a little bit longer. I think the next thing I'm going to do with the bus is probably take it to a mechanic and get it checked out. Um, there's still, it needs the oil changed and there's still probably a couple other things that it needs as well. That said, uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.